Mountains, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another Disney Theories video. So this one is for The Incredibles. So this is a new one that we haven't ever really touched on. I actually really like this theory. I totally agree with this theory. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it, so we're just going to get straight into it and then talk about it. In The Incredibles, Violet and Dash were once super newborns. The family doesn't realize Jack-Jack has powers until, spoiler alert, he turns into a tiny human fireball at the end. Things get really he hectic in Incredibles 2. But if the family assumed he was normal, that means that the other kids must have had their powers evident at birth. And how crazy would it be to see a newborn baby with super speed or the power of invisibility? Now see, I think this theory is totally possible. Because if you guys remember, in the original Incredibles movie, if you haven't seen it, you know, just kind of skip out of this video. You're officially done with it. But if you guys remember, in the first Incredibles movie, when Edna called uh, Elastigirl over to check out, you know, the, the suits for the kids and for herself, um, she, while she was in the seat, she was saying, okay, so here's Jack-Jack's outfit, and, uh, you know, here's what the, the specialties are with the, with the suit. And uh, Helen goes, well, Jack-Jack doesn't have any powers. Yes, the exact line she says, Jack-Jack doesn't have any powers. <laughs> I remember Edna goes, oh, well, he'll still look fabulous. Anyway, and you go on to the next kid. So I firmly believe that Dash and Violet were showing signs of their abilities when they were literally, right, almost out of the womb. Because I can imagine, like, you know, Elastigirl's in the hospital, she's giving birth, and all of a sudden the doctor holds up the kid, and he goes, well, I feel it, but where the hell is it? <laughs> or, you know, if... If it was in Dash's case, you know, he pulls out the kid or she pulls out the kid and then all of a sudden, like, the kid just goes zooming throughout the room. Like, I can totally imagine, like, cause regular parents, and I, you know, I'm saying this because my mom has told me her stories about raising me. My, you know, Harley Baby's mom has told me stories about her raising Deanna. And they always said raising kids is never easy. And I've even heard the stories of my aunts raising their sons, you know, when they were young. And, of course, every mom usually will say, oh... I love my kid, I love, you know, raising them, but then they will, they'll say the things like, oh, you won't believe what happened when he was this age, or she was this age, or whatever age, and typically the parents will always say, like, oh, they were so hard to work with, and, you know, normal parenthood is hard enough, it's already expensive enough, it's already challenging enough, but then you add, like, superpowers into it, imagine what Dash and Violet broke when they were running around invisible or just at super speed, and then on top of that, trying to catch the kids at night if they start running around, or I can imagine, like, Violet turning invisible, and all of a sudden the parents are like, we lost her, we lost her, and then, you know, after a while the stunt just gets really, really boring, and it's like, Violet, come out now. Like, I can imagine they probably got no sleep raising Violet, and I think with Jack-Jack it's a little bit easier, it's just like raising a normal kid, but then once he, they realize, you know, oh, Jack-Jack has, like, all of the powers, like, not just one power, but all of the powers now, it's just increasingly difficult, which is very apparent in Incredibles 2, I'll just say that now. But anyways, I thank y'all so much for watching, let me know what you think about this Disney theory in the comment section down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye little skeletons, stay safe, I love you guys.